Barbel Man here. Um, it's 4th December 2015. And this is Mark Mark II of my sardine mackerel oil burner. Um, water coming on to boil there. It's a bit of steam, I don't know if you can see it. This is the oil you get in mackerel, tin mackerel, tin sardines. It's actually sunflower oil and there's probably a bit of sardine or fish oil in there too. Got, I've got a wick using um, just toilet tissue actually, rolled up, screwed up toilet tissue into a wick. See there's a nice flame burning there. I've got tin on that side, tin on that side, that there. And just a uh, normal tin that you put with chopped tomatoes, chopped tomatoes were in it. And uh, I'm going to have a nice cup of tea in a minute, it's nearly ready. Originally I had it just resting, probably a bit hot. And literally I just had it resting like that. They weren't there, but it was less efficient. It was less efficient because uh, not enough oxygen getting in there inside. So two extra tins. Two extra tin. That on top. and it speeds up the heating progress. So, so here's just another look. You can see there's toilet tissue inside there, which is soaking up the oil and used as a wick. And the toilet tissue doesn't, doesn't seem to burn. And, uh, the toilet tissue doesn't seem to burn. So anyway, my water's come to the boil. Let's put it back on there. See the water is actually coming to the boil. So I'll be able to make a nice put my tea bag in in a minute and I'll show you the finished cup of tea. The only thing about these tins is eventually they kind of corrode and you start getting a really horrible metallic taste in the water. I think it's zinc or something, whatever's inside the tin, or tin or whatever. And it really taints the water. That's when you have to get a new tin. It might but it usually lasts five or six, maybe more times. That is quite hot now. Yeah, that's nearly boiling. It was boiling a minute ago until I took it off. Okay, well, I've been fiddling around a bit trying to make it more efficient. I still can't quite get it to boiling. It's just below boiling. Bubbles are coming up. It's def definitely hot enough to make a cup of tea with. Um, put the finger in it, it will scorch you know it's very hot it's probably about 95 degrees celsius so that's going to work for making my cup of tea we'll just walk over we're in a multi-story car park somewhere in spain and this is where i hide my tea in here i just got it poking out so you can see it and lower down my milk sweet and condensed milk <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep, that's it. Go over to me little one. Um, a little stove boiling away there. I'm not quite boiling. bag out. All right. In she goes.
I'll probably blow that out now, I think. Be safe to blow out. Okay. So. Oh, it's a horrible smell coming from that oil. The oil's burning away, bubbling kind of thing. Look at that, mate. Cup of tea. Sweet and condensed milk. Not too much. What smells of burning fish? Not the tea. The stove that I've just blown out. Yeah. Okay. Give it a little stir. And look at that. I just hope the water hasn't turned because of the tin can. Soon find out. That's fine. The water hasn't turned yet. Uh, these these tins, eventually, eventually they um, the metal corrodes, like I've already said, and I don't know if it corrodes, but anyway, the stuff that's underneath, whether it's zinc or tin or whatever it is, gets into the water, and you can start tasting it. So anyway, that's a nice cup of tea. Mmm. Yep, that's fine. Cooked over sardine oil, or mackerel oil to be exact. And I had the stove going again, but I've just turned it off because I just noticed. Look who's over the wall. security police. I'll probably get told off for having a little fire up on a car park. So I turn it off quickly.